Helen Fig in 1872 writes, Please, can you help me? My mandible and maxilla is longer on the right side, causing an occlusal cant. Can this be fixed with exercises, or would surgery be the only way to fix it? I hope to, hope to hear back from you. Thank you. Thanks for the question. First, let's define our terms. When I talk about an occlusal cant, I'm looking at the upper teeth compared with an imaginary line between the pupils. If the upper arch is tilted, it usually means the condylar process of the mandible, the lower jaw, is shorter on one side. So if my upper teeth tilt this way, then I would expect to see some evidence of a congenital, developmental, or degenerative remodeling on this side when I do a CT scan. And if the mandible is shorter on one side, then no amount of exercises or restorative dentistry or orthodontics is going to be able to correct that. These things can all help to mask the asymmetry, but that's about as far as they can go. Correction of a mandibular asymmetry can only be done surgically, and it will likely require a couple years of preparatory orthodontics, then total jaw joint replacement, probably on both sides, along with a Lafort osteotomy to correct the position of the maxilla, and maybe also do some surgically facilitated rapid palatal expansion, and then all of this is usually followed by several months at least of finishing orthodontics to make sure everything is lined up properly. Now that's a lot of work to do, and there's a significant amount of risk associated with that path. In my view, there are three reasons why a person might choose surgery. Pain, dysfunction, and facial aesthetics. If you don't have significant symptoms, which is usually pain, or significant dysfunction, meaning a restricted ability to eat, chew, swallow, and or breathe, then surgery, in my opinion, isn't usually a good decision. If your primary concern is facial aesthetics, then you need to have a good discussion with your surgeon to go over expectations and risks. In my practice, if a patient is concerned with facial asymmetry and there are some associated symptoms like pain, locking, or obstructive sleep apnea, then I would first recommend doing some conservative therapy using a properly chosen and designed and constructed occlusal orthotic, along with a well thought out TMJ rehab exercise program, and possibly some therapeutic massage or physical therapy or chiropractic care to address the potential cervicogenic component. And this is to test the theory that correcting the structural asymmetry will indeed alleviate your symptoms. I hope that helps. Thanks for the question.